The year was 1860. Abraham Lincoln was president. Colorado would not become an official state, however, for 16 more years. But the foundation for a very well-known Denver institution was being laid. Two people had a duel, and they both had double-barrel shotguns. And one was a judge, and the other was the former governor of the Jefferson Territory. And they shot each other. And so people said, you know, I think we need a hospital here. Denver Health celebrated its 150th anniversary in 2010. To truly understand the impact of this hospital on the community, one need only look at the numbers. We care for about 170,000 uh, individuals every year. That's about one in three people in Denver. 37% uh, of all Denver's babies are born here. 40% uh, of Denver's children get their care here. And within this large population that we care for, 42% um, of all our users are completely uninsured. They have no means of payment. Denver Health has had a substantial economic impact on Denver and downtown Denver because it's one of the biggest employers we have in the city. It has a budget of $675 million annually. It employs 5,000 employees and has a payroll of $357 million. But it does more than that because Denver Health has provided a lot of training for uh, physicians and future physicians. In fact, they work with the uh, University of Colorado to provide educational opportunities. We really had visionary leaders in uh, the city who said, at a time when people didn't even know what the word integrated healthcare meant, we're creating an integrated healthcare system. And this has enabled us to serve uh, the people of Denver across the whole span of their life, from health through disease. And it's enabled us to get people at the right care at the right time with the right person at the right price and with the right outcome. And, uh, that's quite spectacular. With so many depending on their facility and services, Denver Health has made quality and efficiency a priority. They received international recognition for their efforts recently and were honored with the International Shingo Prize, saving $88 million in operational efficiencies and helping safeguard the jobs of their employees. No healthcare entity in the world has received this international award for operational excellence uh, but us. We're the first. We were right up there with, you know, uh, General Dynamics and Boeing aircraft. So it's an unusual, uh, it's unusual to have healthcare in this bit. I'm really proud of Dr. Cabell and her leadership in terms of our national presence, in terms of health reform and health initiatives. Um, when people think about integrated health systems, Denver Health comes to mind for a lot of elected officials and other professionals across the nation, especially in Washington, D.C. We're able to provide uh, over uh, $4 billion of care to people without insurance since 1991 and be in the black every year. And try running a business where 42% of the people who use your services can't pay you and still be in the black. As we celebrate the sesquicentennial anniversary of this Denver institution, we're reminded of the impact that a well-run, well-respected establishment can have on an entire community. I think the sign of a great community is how we take care of our most vulnerable, and I think that's what Denver Health has done for our city and held up our standard as a great city for all of these years.